This lesson will take a look at how to set up a contingency order. Um, if you're going to be getting into a market at a specific price or a specific condition. When we're using a contingency order, we're going to be using the click chart to buy or click chart to sell to create these orders. Let's say we're going to be setting up an order here for Microsoft. We'll get into the position. So we'll click chart to buy, left mouse click, and we get our confirmation window. Here's where we can make our adjustment. Now we'll submit the order. Now to set up our stop loss and profit target with this contingency order, we could use auto exit. We can't use the bracket order button because bracket orders are, can only be set up for bracket exit if the position is already filled. So we're going to have to set up our stop loss and profit target by using the click chart to sell button to build the profit target and stop loss separately. So first we'll click on click chart to sell place your mouse cursor at the price range for your stop. Now we'll need to go down and set up our advanced settings for this order. And again, this order is not going to trigger until our buy order is filled. So we'll check the box to submit this order when the buy order from Microsoft has been filled. Now we'll click the submit order button. We'll repeat the same process and click chart to sell place the mouse cursor on the chart window at the price level we want our profit target to be placed and we're going to set up our advanced settings again setting up the trigger by order and then attaching the OCO so setting up a contingency order and attaching the profit targets and stop losses is just that easy